the hurricanes, Irma is heading for the mainland US and also may brush Cuba and the Bahamas after leaving a trail of devastation in the Caribbean. Southern Florida is bracing for a direct hit early Sunday, and evacuations have been issued, sparking a dramatic mass exodus from the state where millions could be affected. The catastrophic storm also hit the islands of Turks and Caicos overnight, and President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate closed ahead of Irma. On the horizon, Hurricane Jose strengthened to Category 4 with winds up to 150 mph, and the storm is forecast to move west-northwest into the Atlantic Ocean over the coming days. Hurricane Katia is spinning in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. The House approved the package on Hurricane Harvey relief. The bill includes measures that would raise the debt ceiling and keep the government open for three months. Mexico earthquake A quake hit off the coast of southern Mexico, leaving dozens dead. Equifax social security numbers and other data for up to 143 million people may have been exposed to cyber criminals following a massive security breach of credit monitoring firm Equifax. Today, it's been revealed that three Equifax executives sold stock before the hack was disclosed. Find out whether the Equifax hack hit you here. In other news, the Trump hangover continues for gun companies as sales drop. Politics aside, catch up on the other headlines of the week or, if you prefer, look at this week's photos. Deaths associated with heroin have jumped 533% in the U.S. since 2002, a report said. Uber is ditching diesel cars in London. Planning a fall trip? Here's a guide to make sure it's smooth sailing when you're traveling with friends. Does Napa Valley make the bucket list?